right. Uh, so are you talking about specific events, maybe? Um, it could be. The summit? But I'll tell you, um, I'll get because I've heard these come up before, and um, the reason for me putting this in here, it looks like most of the common searches are huge uh, nationwide event or not nationwide, worldwide events, and people that die, like famous people that die. Oh, right? okay. Stephen Hawking. So Stephen Hawking was like nine. Okay, on the list. Um, I don't have past Stan five. Lee died. Stan Lee was four. Okay. Okay. Really. Uh, the two and three, you don't know. Um, Avicii is a Swedish oh, DJ. Oh, yeah. He quit like three years ago due to health issues. He actually passed away last year. Oh, really? Yeah, I Mac Miller that. was a rapper oh. who died of a drug oh, overdose. Right. And he's like 27 he when young. he died or 28. Yeah. Um, number one, though, the World Cup. Huh. That makes sense. So. it's a Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, obviously, stuff. it's stuff like that. Number five was actually Black Panther, though. That movie Wakanda was Wakanda forever. Yeah. So I never saw Black Panther yet. I haven't either. It's, actually, it's good. I liked it. It's just it's just me and the superhero it. things. I've done I haven't seen of. like the last six Marvel movies that weren't an Avengers. I need to like catch up on those. I've seen the Avengers. Yeah, and need to sidebar. I was watching football sidebar. with James the other day, and one of the football players in the corner when he announced his name, all of a sudden went Wakanda forever, oh, yeah. and I loved it. And I said, I don't know who he is, but he's my favorite. Nice. Now. And you didn't recognize his, you don't know his name. I now? don't remember his name, but I remember him doing that. That was the best. Good story. What's your favorite? <laughs> Did this. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I will remember that though. But not his I'll name. I'll remember what he did, but not who he is. He could be in the room with us right now. <laughs> and then like, I, you'd have to ask I don't know James. who you are. Then he goes, but kind of forever. You're the guy. <laughs> Put yeah. the thing. Yeah, he's the guy. <laughs> Put the thing. That did the thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's exactly. the guy. One time. Exactly. On that show with the with football the, guys. With the, and the, where they throw yeah. the thing. Yep. Good. You're speaking my language. <laughs> he goes, oh, you're talking about football. And the guy, the way, yeah. <laughs> All right. Number six. All these species are what type of animal? I like these. Of course. Spe- spec- <laughs> spectacled. Eurasian eagle. Tawny. Great gray. And spotted wood. Owls. Oh, I like that guess. If he likes that guess, it's probably wrong. <laughs> yeah, well. He just likes owls, though. It's owls. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good job. All right, Jeff. I feel so wise. You are. You're wise, oh. wise as an owl. <laughs> Speaking of owls, Rachel, what abbreviation <laughs> did owl stand for in Harry Potter? Oh, I don't remember. You don't remember that? No. Oh. Out remember. without Wait, leave. Oh, Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't remember. Oh, man. It was like, um, it was in their fifth year. And it was uh, the test, you know, they had to take. We should yeah. say this for a Har- uh, Harry Potter only episode. Uh, just because you don't like it doesn't mean it can't show up. Yeah. Um, the plague of my life. Oh, it was. Um, just one of the. Many it was plagues. like one of their tests, Trivia right? Plagues. Like yeah. they. D- oh God. Yeah. It was like their standardized something test. wizarding. Yeah, you're getting there. Uh, League. No. Um, no, it's it's like a standardized test thing. Do you tap out? Yeah, I can't remember it. It's a uh, ordinary wizarding level. Ah, uh, that's their right. fifth. That's like a very polite way of saying it's kind of like the okay. I steps. Yeah, it's like it's like I steps or yeah. uh, like SATs. It's like how they measure you after you've been in that school for a while. Ah, uh, I can't believe I forgot it. I can't believe you forgot that. All right, anyway, uh, number eight. This company was originally almost named Cadabra, but its owner changed it. Before launching, because he feared the reference to the magical term abracadabra would be too obscure. Yahoo. Is that your final answer? That's our final answer. Sure. Billy was all over that before you even finished. He was. true. Which is strange because it's Amazon. Amazon? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, I couldn't I could ever want it. I, so I, he wanted I to make it, it Yahoo, like, I, I'm guessing, like, oh, magic. It's like right at your doorstep, you know? But I guess he changed it to Amazon because they wanted to be the largest bookstore, so he just named it after the largest river. I, don't know. I knew when when you said Cadabra, I knew and like that, a, that's one of the large women, right? I thought maybe that was his. <laughs> that I knew it was one of the like the the one of the huge websites. And yeah, I knew it wasn't Google. Amazon yeah. is like magic, though. Yeah, Wonder Woman just didn't have the same ring, so they went with uh, Amazon. Um, anyway, <laughs> speaking of Amazon, which brick and mortar company did Amazon acquire? 
for thirteen point seven billion in, in August of twenty seventeen. <laughs> um Whole Foods? The f- yeah, the whole f- the food place. Yes. Yeah. Whole Foods. <laughs> nice. Um and number ten, true or false, Billy loves when I do these. <laughs> a strawberry is a berry. True. That's what I think. We have one true. Game. Jeff. Don's game theory says no, of course not. No, Don's game theory is yes it is because you're like, <laughs> yeah, idiot, it's right there in the name. It's a strawberry. <laughs> No, that's Don's theory, not his, di- his game theory. What's your, what's no, your, no, 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 no. What's that's your a, answer? I'm going to go by the way you've taught me, and there's no way, because why okay. would they ask a question? Where no, that would be my theory. Jeff, oh, my goodness. That's what I told you. What's your answer? <sighs> a strawberry is a berry. He's a tiebreaker, right? We got one yes, one no. Mm-hmm. False. Ooh, I finally did not trick you up. It is no, false. You, really? you did because I was uh, I was army crawling. For a <laughs> yeah, you were. I always get you on those. You always go the opposite way. Anyway, strawberries are not actually berries because botanically, all berries have basically the seeds are on the inside of all oh. berries by definition. The exocarp would be the outer skin. They have a mesocarp, which is the fleshy middle. And the endocarp is the innermost part, which contains seeds. Yeah, straw carp didn't do, didn't uh, test well in <laughs> focus groups. Um, as strawberry has its seeds in the exocarp, um, it's not considered a berry, and it's actually not a conventional type of fruit. Um, it's more like an aggregate fruit. Some people don't even consider them fruits. It's just weird, but um, it, it's a developed in a completely different way from other fruits and berries. Also goes for raspberries and blackberries. Um, and if you're confused, bananas are berries and strawberries are not banana berry. Hmm. So yeah, just really weird. <clears throat> I think, uh, tomatoes are also technically yeah, berries. They're technically a fruit, which is weird. And be- technically berries cause they have the same build and the same, it's, it's the way the plants reproduce. Uh, berries have like one, they come from like one, um, I can't remember the term. Ovum. Two trivial for Whatever it is. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. All right. Strawberries are not berries. <clears throat> so you're done? Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right. Well, I'm going to take you guys back in history a little ways. Hey. Um, and Rachel may learn something she never knew. Ooh. Did you know, being as she's a youngster, I'd be picking up she's one of you She's the youngster guys, out of all of us by a long shot. Did you know that there was a not time when long. you could buy a camera that did not have a phone attached to it? What? <laughs> I was... Oh... My first phone was a Nokia, and it was hard to break. Oh, you had the brick phone? Yeah, and all I could do was play Snake on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Snake was awesome. Hey, it was my awesome. first phone, all I could do was make calls. Out, so. <laughs> my first, co- my first uh, phone, I could go... Doo-doo-doo. Yeah. And oh, yeah, that's right. Tell. You had a next Texting did not start Doo-doo. until I was like a junior in high school. Yeah. I think I had the one that looked like a walkie-talkie. <laughs> yeah, you had that. You had the chunky. Did you have the yeah. bag Next phone? One. My the mom had the phone. bag phone. Yeah, no, I, it was never mobile. <laughs> My mom might have had a bag phone oh. back in the day. Back in the day. But anyway, we're not going to talk about phones. We're going to talk about cameras. Oh, Which are in phones. These days, oh. yes. In fact, I, I really don't <clears throat> think people buy them for the phones anymore. What about the cameras that you put the, you put the film in and it sounded like it was about to explode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the flash? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They had those. So anyway, um, I'm going to start you back with a Latin word called camera obscura. Doesn't that is Latin, Latin for dark chamber. The Latin word for camera is camera? Oh, camera, camera obscura is dark? is Latin for dark chamber. Huh. Um, it's the name given to a simple device used to produce images that would lead to the invention of photography. Hmm. Latin words are cooler than any other words. Mm-hmm. They are. Um, and then the English word today for the photographic devices we use, obviously, was just shortened to camera. Sure. But that's, that, that is where we get the word camera from. Let me um, take... Hey, can you get a dark of us? Obscura was too obscure. <laughs> so they just shortened it to camera. Um, <laughs> at its most basic, the camera obscura is a simple box, which may be room-sized. And when I say that, there are there are, in fact... To this day, camera obscuras, which are huge buildings um, with a small hole in one side. The light from only one part of a scene passes through the hole, 
and strike a specific part of the back wall. So in, we're in this room. Mm-hmm. You got a little hole in this wall. You got a screen on this wall, or acting as a screen. The light that passes through this becomes a camera obscura, hmm. if, if we're using it for that purpose. Um, the projection can be made on paper uh, that an artist can copy, which is we'll get into that was actually done at one point in time. Um, as the hole is made smaller, the image gets sharper. As the hole gets bigger, you get more light. You can see it better, but you lose a lot of the, the clarity. A lot of the, yeah. So the smaller you get, the, the clearer it is, but you also, it gets darker and harder to see. So and what, what are we talking about right now? The, the, cam- the, the camera obscura. obscura. That's, yeah, and, and I'll get into the history of that a little bit, but I'm letting you know. This is where the whole thing started with this camera obscura. Okay. What what are you talking about specifically? Like, where's the where's the image that they're portraying? Okay. Outside of this room. Okay. There'll, there'll be the world. Sure. You've got a little tiny hole in the okay. wall. There's light coming through there. This light is going to be bringing this image through because it's reflecting. So it's like, off it's, like of this. it's like one of those the film negative things. Like it's, you, we put it in front of a slide and it's projecting. The projector is the projector is your your far wall. Right, but you, the thing is, because I'm I'm wondering what the images you're talking about. It's like a little slide space. No, like little... no, the actual the world out there. Okay, as so it's seeing it's seeing what's out there. Then it's... sort of. Okay, but again, it's a pinhole, so it's only seeing one small area. And because of the light that's reflecting off of whatever it's, really, you know, the sunlight, that's the light that comes through the the hole. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy that that people actually figured this out and have led to the whole camera thing. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm gonna sort of get into it. I don't know if you've ever seen like a the little simple apparatus. I mean, basically the pinhole camera, which is sort of sort of begat this whole thing. Have you ever done one of those, like when you were in school and you would watch it in an eclipse? Because they would tell you to punch mm-hmm. a hole in the box and you could watch it through there so you're not looking at the sunlight. Mm. No, we had camera phones. Did you? You don't want to point those at the sun either. <laughs> That's very bad. In fact, there, one of the astronauts uh, destroyed a lot of very valuable equipment on the moon one time because he pointed it at the sun. and just, Really? Yes, and he destroyed his cameras. Oh, wow. So, yeah, not a good thing to do even when you were a little kid. Um, well, not your cam- your camera phone will be fine. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Every um, my phone goes out in the sun, it just evaporates. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and, and I don't know if you've ever noticed, but when you when you see something through one of these pinhole cameras, everything's upside down. Right. I've heard of that, yeah. Well, we actually I've... see everything upside down as well, and our brain processes right. it. Right. Well, a camera obscured does not process it that right. way. And I'll get into that, too. Mm. So the first mention and discovery of the principles behind the pinhole camera um, was by a guy named Mosey, who lived from 470 B.C., to 390 BC, he was a wow. Chinese philosopher and the founder of Mohism. Or Mohism, um, that makes sense. Aristotle, who lived from 384 to 322 BC, actually understood the optical principle of the pinhole camera, and he actually started viewing things uh, like a partially eclipsed sun was projected onto the ground through the holes in a sieve um, and through the gaps between the leaves of, of, a, of a tree. It would sort of filter these things and. So he actually wrote about this stuff, and he actually came up with this whole principle of camera obscura. Wow. Though it wasn't really a, a thing sure. until probably about 900 AD, um, a guy by the name of, at least known here in the West, is Al Hazen. Uh, he lived from nine, nine, I'm sorry, 965 to 1040 AD. He was the first one that actually built this camera obscura. He was an Iraqi scientist, um, and he started carrying out experiments. Um, he had read the Aristotle stuff. He was aware of the principles of the optics. In fact, he pr- did a bunch of experiments and, and put them out in a book called that, the uh, the Book of Optics. That's fascinating that anyone could even conceive of that, you know, not having seen a, a photographic image. Like, how do you even... I agree. How do you even it's, get there? Yeah. So anyway, in his experiments, he used a term that translated in English as dark room, which hmm. dark chamber. Sure. So that's that's where the the camera obscura came from. Um, But in his experiments, there was a bunch of things he was trying to establish. One was that um, light travels with time and speed. So he said if the hole was covered with a curtain and the curtain is taken off, the light traveling from the hole to the opposite wall will consume time. He was one of the first persons to actually conceive of that. I don't know how he Hmm. measured that, especially way back in those days. Um, He also did the same experiment where he established that light travels in a straight line. So in camera terms, the light converges into the room through the hole transmitted with the objects facing it. So you've got the objects on the outside of the room that are looking towards the room. The light that is coming from the sun, what have you, is is hitting these objects 
Mm-hmm. It could be us. It could be a mountain, whatever. But it reflects. And then reflecting, yeah. So then it's coming through this little hole in the wall. 